With following hazard on both sides, you have to act smart. Today, we look at the best way to protect a very narrow pathway. Stay tuned. All right, so here we are in front of the situation we're going to look at today. So as always, we're going to do this in four steps. Step number one, we're going to identify what we need to protect. Step number two, we're going to identify the falling hazard in this situation. Step number three, we're going to define our solution, define our, our fraud protection system. And step number four, we're gonna do some suggestion to go even further. So let's get right to it. Okay, so uh, on this building, we have a narrow pathway uh, that needs to be protected. Of course, we have a fall of three meter or more on each side. So there's definitely some uh, fall protection system that needs to be installed in this area. So we're gonna do a quick screenshot and get right to work. Okay, so uh, first step. So let's identify what we need to protect. Well, there's no HVAC unit here. Uh, I see uh, two uh, maybe roof drains here. So basically, people will need to go there to access this area uh, for maintenance purpose or uh, just as uh, a circulation uh, path towards another roof area. So people will walk and might work in this area. So this is really what we want to protect. There's no uh, rooftop unit around here, but it's a pathway that is um, used by people. So uh, of course, when they walk there, they cannot be within two meters from the roof edge. They need to be protected. So really the situation here is to protect uh, the circulation in this area. If these are uh, drains that needs to be cleaned, uh, of course the work will need to be done safely. Uh, and uh, what's interesting is that we have a corner here. so. People coming from this side of the building will definitely, you know, naturally cut the corner, uh, getting really close to the edge. So uh, either a procedure needs to be uh, put in place uh, regarding where and how to circulate on this building. But we're going to try to incorporate this in our in our uh, proposal. So step number two: the falling hazard. Well, of course, uh, there's two sides to, uh, to this pathway, that, that narrow pathway. So each side is a falling hazard. I spoke about the corner here. We're gonna try to incorporate this. Um, so uh, th this is pretty much what we, uh, what we need to, uh, to protect people from. And we definitely have a 10 foot or three meter or more in this area. So uh, these are the falling hazard in this situation. So, okay, good, so let's define our solution. And here it's a tricky one because the space is very limited uh, on this uh, pathway. So, since it's limited, the easy answer would be to go with the VSS compact system, our configuration where uh, the, the footprint needed is, is uh, much smaller, the weights are straight under the vertical post. It, it could be true, but we're gonna draw it to see if it really works. So let's say I'm, uh, we're going in compact. So, uh, okay, so we want, we want to protect this side, this side. This would be the, the actual protection, the guardrail itself. Now, if there's no uh, door, for example, or if there's no ladder here, that this needs to be confirmed on site, then we can most definitely do a closed system and these two sides would be connected. And then the ending, the, the two ending of these guardrail would end up somewhere here. If we do it this way, so it means that um, the guardrail will actually continue here, and then we would need to have our return somewhere here. The uh, mandatory return is uh, five feet, uh, 60 inch uh, in length. So we do need some room here, and these returns are mandatory. On the other end, here, uh, well, either we uh, extend it all the way here and the return goes here. So that would work, that would actually work. And we see that the, the, actual, the, the architect designed a pathway uh, with the roofing material. So the pathway would lead all the way in, in, in this area. So this would work. However, 
If there's a door here that we might not see in this rendering, or there's a ladder, this means that we cannot connect the two sides of the guardrail. So when we cannot connect, it means that we have two separate sections of guardrail, and then in that case, we would need to have two endings, and this is where uh, we have issues. So basically, uh, both guardrail would need their five foot return at each end, and then, uh, depending on the width of the, of the pathway, of course, uh, our, our ending, our return would get into contact. Even more, if there's a door, the return might be in the way of the door. So if there's a door or anything else at the end of this pathway here, unfortunately, the compact might not be the best solution. One way to do it would be to use wall anchors. Uh, this is, of course, like a sort of a shortcut, but it, it sort of goes away from the non-penetrating uh, you know, ethos that uh, all our, our system have. So what if we use the classic instead? Well, the classic would actually work. Uh, we, would, we, would, uh, we would need uh, a bit less room because we don't have returns here. However, we have, we have rubbers uh, counterweight on the floor. So uh, this would work even if there's a door because uh, the counterweight are lower than most uh, the, that the height of the door. So this uh, configuration would allow the door to open and people to come out of the door, step on the, on the counterweight and then proceed forward. Um, so in this situation, we kind of need a bit more info to be able to judge which configuration is the very best. But uh, with our two configuration together, I think we, uh, we definitely have a winner here. So step number four, if we want to go even further, well, I mean, um, if there's a ladder here, for example, going up the, the other uh, roof level, uh, we would need to have guardrail on each side of the ladder, that's for sure, as we always do. Um, otherwise, here, I mean, I see a parapet, it's probably not uh, at 42 inch high, so there would need to have uh, a system or we would need to see how people circulate on this roof area. Uh, what about here? Because uh, there, there's definitely a falling hazard all along this area here. Uh, Sometimes the best way is to look at where are people coming from. Uh, quickly, this looks like a, it could be a roof hatch, so from there I would create a circulation pathway, maybe with warning line, uh, leading to where people need to go on this rooftop area. So uh, it's really about uh, analyzing the operations and then uh, doing some suggestion uh, based on the need of the customer and the building owner. That's it. I hope you have enjoyed and learned with today's situation. Thank you so much for your time and your attention. Do you have a similar situation on your building? Contact us by email at info at deltaprevention.com and we'll get back to you in 24 hours or less. To get notified of our next video, follow us on YouTube or subscribe to our newsletter by clicking the link in the description below. Thanks again and stay safe.